Hey guys, we're about to start round one here. I'm just going to check if this is working. All right. So we're about to start round one, uh, and we will obviously like to play first considering our deck. Um, sadly, we won't be able to keep this hand uh, with only one land. This hand is okay, I guess. Um, this hand really isn't keepable, but we might be able to draw out of it. So I'm not going to mulligan to five, considering we're on the play. Uh, and most of our deck is creatures, so I expect to draw some before we, uh, you know, hit Cather's Crusade, hopefully. Um, yep, and we drew Lightning Mauler, which is good for us. Um, he's playing green black, so we'll see what he plays right now. He plays uh, Nightshade Peddler. Uh, and we draw a Zealous Strike. I don't feel like Zealous Striking right now. Um, I'd rather use it as a trick later. Um, so we won't be swinging in. And then if we can get Cather's Crusade and Thatcher Revolt going, we can do some pretty silly things. So we drew a Riot Ringleader here, so we're going to play that out. Um, and it is going to get haste. He didn't play a card, uh, so I feel relatively safe swinging in here. Um, we'll see what he does. He does not block, so that makes me feel safe about in terms of tricks. Um, and then next turn, if we draw a land, we're definitely going to play Cather's Crusade and try to set up a ridiculous turn with Thatcher Revolt. Um, give our guys uh, plus three, plus three counters, uh, and really uh, just do some pretty silly things. Like this, this deck is definitely capable of doing some pretty ridiculous things. Um, so he's gonna probably swing in with a three, three. Um, and he's gonna. I'm gonna go to seventeen. Um, so we draw more Land Inquisitor, which is interesting. Um, so right now I would not mind Zala striking the Druid's Familiar in order to deal more damage. So I think in order uh, for this to work out, I'm going to swing in with Lightning Mauler and Riot Ringleader. He's probably going to block the Riot Ringleader, uh, or either take the damage expecting, you know, expecting there to be some kind of trick. He'll go down to 11, and then he'll swing back at me for 10, and then after that I can play Thatcher Revolt uh, if I draw a land and then swing in for hopefully lethal. So I'm going to swing in first. And he blocks. Um, we're going to Zealous Strike our guy. Then we're going to play Moreland Inquisitor. And then if we draw a land the next turn, uh, I do need to count damage to see what he does in terms of his next play. Because if he plays two guys and then uh, stays back, if he plays a guy and then stays back, he'll just block my two highest guys and then probably, oh, he bone splinters a right ring leader. So that changes things a bit. He doesn't have any other plays, which is fine with me. Uh, we draw Fervent Cather. Um, I think, considering the fact that he didn't have a creature to play with three mana, I actually want to hold up on the Fervent Cather. I can't see him playing more than one creature next turn. Uh, and then we will, the next turn he'll play a creature, we will play the Fervent Cather and then swing in, and he'll be at four, and then after that we can Thatcher Revolt and win. So I don't think that there's a real point in playing the Fervent Cather right now. Uh, it may save some damage. We may get more damage now, but uh, we'll save our guy probably, because right now I don't see him playing more than one guy. And if he does, that's my fault for not playing out a guy. He plays Barter and Blood. Okay, so that's interesting. Um, 
you know, well, I think we're still fine here if we can draw a land. Uh, we want to play Cather's Crusade. And then follow that up with maybe Fervent Cathar and Thatcher Revolt. So cards to take note of that he's played against us is definitely Barter of Blood. We do have to worry about that because that card is very, very good against our deck. Um, and right now he will play Pathbreaker Worm, which is perfectly fine with us. That's only one blocker. Um, and if we draw a land this turn, I believe he's just dead. So we don't. Um, but that's also fine because Cloud Shift also helps us in terms of... Um, Cloud Shift next turn will allow us to play Thatcher Revolt. Cloud Shift a blocker to uh, get rid of a blocker. And then swing in for lethal. So we're still fine here. Yes, honestly this doesn't change very much in terms of uh, next turn. And then next turn the order that we'll do it is we'll, we're gonna... He's gonna Grave Exchange. Uh, I don't think this really changes anything. We'll still have to sacrifice the Fur and Cather, so we're gonna sacrifice it. He got back Druid's Familiar into his hand, which is fine, and then I still think that Thatcher Revolt is gonna kill him. So we're gonna play the Thatcher Revolt. and get some pretty big guys. So we'll swing in for 12. Yep, okay. So that was uh, definitely a good good game. We didn't have much uh, problem there. We did see Barter and Blood, um, you know, Bone Splinters, Grave Exchange. So he's definitely, um, you know, on the higher end of things. Uh, we have to watch out for that barter and blood. We have to play around that pretty, um, you know, very aware of it. Uh, I would say there's no need for demolish. Uh, Heirs of Stormkirk might be good against him, considering that he is not red. Um, we may side out a mad prophet. Um... And then I don't see a reason to really play anything else. So we're gonna submit. And here's exactly what I'm talking about in terms of the white mana. Uh, we're playing 10-7 and we still don't have the white mana for our Moorland Inquisitor. Uh, no, I would like not like to mulligan because his hand is still perfectly fine. Um, we are mostly red and we have a 2-drop and a 3-drop, which is really all we're asking for. Um, sadly, we do draw another Moorland Inquisitor, so hopefully we can draw planes soon, but um, we'll see. Uh, here we'll play out the Cringe Striker. And we do a Fervent Cathar, which is good. He plays out uh, Searchlight Geist, which is perfectly fine. We'll play out the Riot Ringleader, and then swing in for three. Uh, I'm not sure if he'll block. Uh, he may, considering that he knows that we're a very aggro deck and he needs to get to the late game. Oh, no, he does not, and I don't think that's the right choice, uh, considering his deck. But he may have Druid's Familiar next, uh, and then he may be trying to just, you know... Oh, no, he does not have Druid's Familiar. So he's going to swing in for two which is fine, and probably play something, uh, a Blood Flow Connoisseur, which is, you know, actually excellent for us. Uh, we have a Zealous Strike, so we really want to draw that, uh, we really would like to draw that um, white mana right now. So we're going to play the Fervent Cathar, we're going to 
Make sure the blood flow connoisseur cannot block. And then we're going to swing in for 10. Bringing him down to 7. And then next turn we'll be swinging in for 4, 3, 13 damage. Um, so I don't really think that he can swing at all here. Um, we'll see what he plays. He plays a U Spirit. I can't imagine him swinging here. Yep. Uh, and we drew another Fervent Cathar. So, if we uh, make sure that the uh, U Spirit can't block here, we will swing in for... Uh, I really wish that we could draw a white mana, because that would allow us to play more Land Inquisitor and Lightning Mauler and just kill him. Um, because of the trample damage. But, you know, what can you do? So we'll play out the Fervent Cather, make sure the U Spirit can't block, and then we'll end up trading the Blood Flow Connoisseur and Search that Geist for probably the Riot Ringleader and maybe the Fervent Cather, uh, because I don't think he can, he can't block the Croon Striker there. So we'll still have trample damage next turn, and we'll see what we can do after that. Depending on what we draw. Actually, he just might be dead. Yeah, I'm sorry, he's just dead. Because he can't, he, he takes trample damage here. Um, yeah. He's just dead. I'm sorry, I just did that math wrong. Uh, there's nothing he can do. So, yeah, that was pretty easy. We didn't even have, uh, you know, white mana. So that was pretty simple. Uh, very easy, or not easy, but very fast round. Um, and I'll see you guys for round two. Tell me if I misplayed, if you think I misplayed or anything like that. Uh, just leave it in the comments. Tell me if you want me to comment more on the gameplay or anything like that. Uh, so this is Lair Bear from round one, and I'll see you guys in round two.